Belt of Truth Ministries. I've got Corey Schwartzman on the line. Corey is the executive director of Transform Hearts Counseling Center and the author of multiple books on recovery. Uh, Corey, what's the one piece of advice that you would give to somebody struggling with porn addiction? Uh, thanks for the opportunity, Stephen. Now, I don't know if I can keep it to one thing, but a couple main things today I would like to talk about is, is maybe kind of the atypical. Um, you know, there's always accountability, uh, honesty, lying, these sorts of things that to help men come out of pornography and getting in groups and things. But the biggest one thing that, that I don't find a lot of people talking about is um, this addiction to being offended. I believe in any and every addiction is underneath an addiction to being offended. And um, I find this in my own recovery, my own sobriety. And, uh, you know, what does this really mean? So these are, are people that generally to uh, go and act out uh, underneath that is deeper issues of feeling hurt, um, real or imagined offenses get us to a place to want to go medicate those feelings and emotions. So uh, I have uh, on, our, on our website, I do a lot of blogging and an offended test. And uh, through my recovery and through the great books like uh, The Bait of Satan, by John Bevere, uh, The Bonds That Make Us Free by Terry Warner, uh, The Anatomy of Peace, Leadership, Self-Deception by the Arbinger Institute. Uh, these books have taken me beyond uh, my 12-step program over the years and really identifying that uh, it is true in God's Word when in the last days many will be offended, many will be lovers of themselves, and it goes on to say love will, will grow, grow cold. And, as we know, lust takes, and I like to define lust as taking, uh, fantasy takes, uh, imagination is about uh, giving uh, to others, love is about giving. So just some quick little tidbits here on uh, what uh, this assessment looks like is if you find yourself thinking and believing your qualities are better than, than others, or you find yourself thinking and believing the qualities of others are worse than yours. Uh, you find yourself uh, in judge, jury, executioner thing a lot. And think about getting even with those that have hurt you. Uh, number three, you're quick to accuse, blame, and criticize others for your own problems, thoughts, and actions. Another one here, uh, you find yourself unable to sleep and awaken at night, uh, unable to, to fall back to sleep due to racing thoughts and feelings of, of, of disrespect that you've been done wrong. Uh, you're easily angered and become defensive when you ask to change or are confronted about your behaviors. You believe if only others would change, then your relationships uh, with them would be better. Um, here's another one. You allow your emotions to dictate how you act. These are generally typical things that I see, and, and there's several more of these in this assessment. So if you score five or more of these, you might have an addiction to being offended. And part of this assessment, too, is we deal here a lot with transformed hearts, and my own recovery is lesser known. Everybody's familiar with sex addiction, but what's lesser known is intimacy anorexia. And this is an intentional withholding of our hearts, feelings, and emotions from our spouse. And uh, in my uh, research, about 64% of the guys that come to our office are also not only sex addicts, but intimacy anorexics. So um, to do that assessment, that's also on our website and can be very helpful for uh, the guys we're trying to help. So if, if you're a guy not finding much success, you've been in recovery a while from your acting out, uh, there might be a chance, um, six out of 10 chance, that you're only dealing with half of the addiction, and that is uh, the intimacy anorexia. So. If there's one thing today, I guess there's, there's two things I, I want to bring to the table, and that's uh, an addiction to being offended, uh, which I believe is also underneath the anorexia addiction. So a lot the, uh, of things, I don't want people to feel overwhelmed, like, oh, I got more stuff to work on. But we do want tools and information out there, so check out our website and our blog. 
uh, I've been blogging now for over a year. We have some YouTube clips out there that can help uh, get men started. So thanks, Stephen. Yeah, awesome. I think that's a couple of great resources. Um, encourage all the guys watching this to, to check out those, uh, those assessments, fill them out, and uh, just see. You know, you did, it's amazing what you can learn from just kind of answering some of those introspective questions. And, you know, I, I know in my own journey that uh, anorexia was something that, that I worked through with my counselor. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not something that's on a lot of guys' radars, but once their eyes are open to it, then they recognize it in their life. And you can see how it really does uh, play a big part in pornography addiction. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you shared that. Thanks, Corey. Um, where can, uh, tell people where they can find out more about you and your ministry. Yeah, absolutely. So we're loaded, located here in Colorado Springs. We also have a satellite office in Denver. Um, but surprisingly, most of our, our practice is by phone. So don't let that limit you. Uh, give us a call. Uh, our website is transformedhearts.com. Uh, the phone number is 719-590-1350. That's one three five zero. We do free assessments. We have lots of books and resources, um, the, the YouTube stuff, the blogs. Uh, we do three day, five day intensives. We do phone counseling. We have phone groups. So uh, really, at any point of entrance, uh, depending on your your budget and um, availability, we want to help you out. So uh, give us a call and see how we can serve you. Thanks. Yeah, awesome. Well, uh, as always, all that information will be in the show notes. So uh, if you guys didn't catch all that watching, just scroll down below and you'll see all those links. Corey, thanks again for your time. Love what you're doing and uh, keep up the great work. Thanks, Stephen. Be blessed. Yeah. See you. Bye.